Okay, so today you're going to be creating a column chart, but in order to create the column chart, we first have to have the data. Okay, so you can get the data from the Microsoft Office Word document, or you can follow them in this little video. Okay, so in cell one, we're going to post. Okay, then we're going to tap down to cell A3. We're going to type in gain. So B3, we're going to type in attendance. All right, that's that little. Okay, so we're going to go down to um, cell A4. We're going to put in 10 team names. So I'm just going to put in team 1. Versus team 1. Two. So I'm going to copy these, control C, or you know what, let's see if the computer's going to There we go. So I just did autofill, make life a little easy. Okay, in attendance, over here you're going to put in one million. This is one, two million. The next one's 1.5 million. Then we have 2 million, 2.5 million, 3 million, 5 million, 6.5 million, 10 million, uh, that must be a whole lot of money, 15 million. Okay, so if you're following the directions in Microsoft Word, rule well, number three. So we're going to change the font of cell A1 to 16 point in bold. Uh, format column with the A to 30. So you left click column A and right click you go to column width, and then 30. Format the width of column B to 14 in central line. So we left click B, right click. Column width, what is it? 14. Central line it. Oh, and go back to column A, make it left aligned. Okay, so row 3, we're going to make it bold. Uh, and we're going to create a column chart now. So, excuse me, we're going to select cells A3 to B13. So we're going to be selecting from A3, where's game? We're going to go down to B13, which is all of our data, the data series. We're going to click the Insert ribbon, and then we're going to come over here to Charts, Insert Column Chart, which should be on the top, and then we're going to insert a 2D column chart. Well, it's also called the cluster chart. Okay, so this should be what you get. Let me make sure you can see it. Um, well, you're going to change the chart name. It did not fill automatically because I didn't put it all over there. So we're going to change the chart name to Sports Teams. Sports Teams Attendance. Okay. So then we're going to go to the top right corner, select the chart, the top right corner. We're going to look at the chart features. We are going to add access titles. So we're going to click that. And we're going to label the X axis. We're going to click here and change the title of that. I'm going to change it to game. Okay, we're going to go to the Y axis. I'm going to change this chart title to revenue. Okay, so when you're looking at the chart, you see that this is the revenue that the team brought in for each game. Um, we are not going to show data labels, and we're not going to use a legend. I will show you why. If you use a legend, it's going to get really messy. See a legend? I mean, it's just going to show attendance, which is obviously what it is, because there's just one series of data there. Okay, and data labels, if you use them, that just becomes a really hot mess. 
no matter what kind of data label you choose, it's just a mess. So the whole point is to keep your chart clean, clear, and very easy to read. Okay, so now we're going to select the x-axis. And we're going to right-click it. So we're going to go to Format Axis. Under... There it is, text direction. Sorry, wrong axis. Text direction horizontal. I'm going to rotate all text to 90 degrees. Or it could be horizontal, but then there we go. Rotate all text 90 degrees. So then you see it's a little easier, it's not so messy to read. Okay, so we're going to format the style and colors of the chart. We're going to select the chart. And just like yesterday, there's a couple of different ways to do it. So we can right click and click Format Chart Area. So we can do here, we can go with Fill. Right now the color is white. We're going to change the part, background color of the chart area to turquoise. And you know, the color turquoise is up for discussion. The plot area, this is not so easy. I'm going to click Plot Area. And then I want this one to be yellow. So see this blue, the um, blue right here, see how it stands out against the yellow. Okay, so we're going to change the color of the bars to purple. So I'm just going to click the bars. And the color, you see the paint bucket over here. I'm going to change it to purple. Um, we're going to format the chart title and access titles to be 12 point bold font. So I'm going to X out of this and click back here. So you see I click the X axis title and I right click it. I'm going to click font and I said 12 point font. So I'm just going to click that and change it to 12. Click OK. This one I'm going to do the same exact thing. All right, so we're going to change the major unit of frequency here. See where it says major units under axis options? Units, and be sure you have the Y axis selected. The major units should be 2 million. I think it's 2 million. No, it's 20 million. Sorry. And the minor. Uh, so it's two million. And then the minor here, it's already set. It should be 400,000. Okay, so when you're done, your chart should look like this one. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to insert a header. So we're going to go to Insert, or Page Layout, I'm sorry. So this one all nice to do it. We'll do it this way. Okay, so what I did is I changed the view in case you missed that. So go to the bottom. This is the tab that it's normally on, which is the just the view sheet tab. I chose the one in the middle, which is page layout, that's normal page layout, and this one is page break view. So page layout, even here you can see. My chart's going to get split in half because it's right in the middle of a page. So I'm going to pick my chart up and I'm going to move it right over here. So then I'm going to change the page layout. Okay, so in the header, on the left section, we're going to put column chart. Press enter and then student names. 
okay? In the middle section should be game attendance. And in the right section should have today's date. And if you remember, it's super easy to do the date. You're just going to click current date and it will automatically fill the date for you. Same. Work harder, Matt's mother. Okay, so we're going to go scroll down to the bottom. We're going to click in the center to add the footer. We're going to click design and we're going to put current pages. No, page, page number. Sorry. Um, so, we can go up here. When you go to page break view, so you can see it. This is what the um, sheet should look like. So what you're going to do is you're going to save it as an Excel document. So you do file, save as, browse, and you're going to save it to your Google Drive. Okay. That is so that if you do have to go back and make changes to it, you still have the data there and you have not lost it. Because once you convert this to a PDF in the next step, then you will not be able to go back and recover your work. So then you're going to go to File, Save As, click Browse, and you're going to click where it says Save As Type. You're going to change it to a PDF, click Save. Then it's going to do its little thing and it's going to pop up like this, showing you that this is your work that is saved. So this is your assignment. It's very, very easy. You need to upload your work. Um, when, remember when one partner submits it, you're submitting it for both partners. Um, but also please include an analysis of the data. So for example, the sales increased as the season went on. So when you played your 10th season, the sales were $15 million. So that could lead you to believe that maybe when the team started playing games, they really weren't very good and they didn't have a good following. However, as the season progressed, they tend to have more fans, they tend to get better. So therefore, at team 10, well, it was game 10. That is when their sales peaked and they had the big sales. So I hope you enjoyed this assignment. It should be super easy. Submit it and have a great day.